Good day, viewers. This is Obaro Ebegbari again. Today is the 5th of May, 2022, and we had 21 abductees released by Boko Haram groups. The ransom was 20 million naira and three motorcycles, which we popularly call Okada. Kindly watch. The place was already dark. They said, Hello. you see these people that we have taken, we went and killed them. Come and take this phone and call your people and hear whether they have seen our message. Oh, this poor woman, my heart broke. Her 17-year-old boy just killed like that, Tundra Biola. I, I don't even know what to say with this story. I, I'm, I'm so furious. We are at a state of war. Let's not deceive ourselves. The over 20 people from the train bombing, they are still in kidnappers then. Nothing has been said about them. Nigerians keep getting killed every day. And the government isn't doing anything as regards it. Even if they say they are doing, we are not seeing what they are doing. We want more. We want more to be done. This insecurity has to stop. You can't continue this way. The only offense this woman committed is that she's a Nigerian. Yes. Nigerian have put to her. Let's not deceive ourselves. A country has enshrined the Constitution, Section 14, Subsection 2, cannot protect its citizens. So what do you want that woman to feel? They've tried every approach in the book. Now they are blocking people's phone line because of need number. But bandits can call freely and we can still track their number. We have intelligence, we can't go after them. They can call victims and relatives. But we can't apprehend them with all the technology in the world. I keep saying, when we are ready to solve this problem, we will solve it. Our channel's TV correspondent rightfully said, when we are ready to solve this problem, we will solve it. Yes, we have the technology available to solve this problem. We gave them three Okada as ransom, part of ransom, included the 20 million. Why is there not a tracker on that Okada? They are going to use it to roam around and scout. We should have installed a tracker. That is what they do in the modern world. You put a tracker. My car has a tracker. If I'm not around, I can check and know where it is. So the technology is available. It's simple. It's cheap. Between um, 30 to 50,000, you install a tracker. Now this bike is taken to them. We know where they are, go where they are going. That way we can track them and easily apprehend them but why will we not do that the question remains unanswered a lady just lost her child of 17 years old and it's common say it's so easy people just die anyhow in the country things need to be done this can be stopped it's easy to stop these things what Guterres was saying that the nigerian military needs support from us from the communities who told them that the communities are not cooperating with them who likes their family members to be kidnapped. It's all political. These problems can be solved. It's so easy. If a tracker was installed on that bike, once those people take it to their location, we know where they are. Then we know how we are going to storm and apprehend them. But nothing is being done. It's sad. We are Nigerians and we are being kidnapped in our home. Stop killing us. 